I'm beginning to make more sense on a question? Stupid question, but why is C not less than F? Okay. Again, watch my hands. In a post set, when you draw the diagram and you say that this element is less than this element, you have to be able to get from this element to that one by walking up the diagram, up, covering it. This one is covered by that. 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 You're going uniformly up. Now look at that picture on the left. How can you go from C to F by going up the diagram, up in every move? And you can't. You have to turn around and go back down. So that's why C is not covered by F. C is not less than F in the one on the, on the right. Now let me ask you this little question, just to see. Can you make a diagram with the same cover graph in which C and F are comparable, make C less than F? Sure. See that little V type thing, the C over A and B on the left? Just turn it over and swing it down on the bottom like this. Perfectly good order diagram, and now C will be right on the bottom, and it'll go straight up to F. So yeah, you can do it, but you, but you can't do it in the way it's drawn. The, the drawing of the diagram is really important. You've got to pay attention to who is under whom, and can you get from one to the other by going up a path? Question? Determine anything between the relationship between C and F in this order diagram, so you can't say that C is greater than F either. Is that correct also? Uh, in, in which post set? Okay, on the post set on the left, listen to these sentences. C is not less than F. F is not less than C. Both of those statements are correct. C is not less than F. F is not less than C. That's what makes partial orders interesting. In a total order, one of those statements would be correct, and the other one would be false. Linear orders are, in general, dull. Partial orders are fascinating. That's a, an overstatement, of course. But we wouldn't be doing a whole chapter on finite linear orders.